Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. With that being said, I hope that you were all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the world. So we just saw a flash crash within the market or what most people will say, just a nice little pullback. Um, but is it done with? And honestly, as we really look at this space, Going into the having, it's definitely a tricky uh, situation because I even said it in a recent video that I was, you know, expecting us to kind of range into the having, but now we are seeing that 20 plus percent pullback that I said that could be a possibility, but I was not expecting it. And again, the market chose the unexpected route, um, as typical, but regardless, the 20 plus percent pullback could very well be starting right now. Now, if that is the case, we do have a little bit further to go where we could be testing the low to mid range of the $50,000 region. Now, are you going to be scared and panic because of that? That's all, that's totally up to you. Remember, the reason why people love crypto is because of how volatile it gets on the way up. But they forget that just as fast as we go up is as fast as we can also go down. And that's where everyone gets shaken out. They love the upward swing. It's like a dopamine rush to them when they start to see those green candles. But when those red candles hit, man, does it get fearful. But that's why when we are looking into the space and anyone that's participating in the space, you need to understand how this market works. Now, the biggest problem that happened with this pullback is that it was mainly caused by a liquidity hunt. And you might be questioning, Nick, what is a liquidity hunt? Well, basically, it's market makers, um, whales, or even manipul manipulative uh, movements in the market to target high leverage liquidity traders. We have Bitcoin 5% flash crash leads to 165 million in leveraged crypto liquid, uh, liquidations. Leveraged traders are nursing losses of over 165 million as the price of Bitcoin tumbled 5%. Now, this is not a massive move to the downside, but it started to snowball effect into over $400 million in terms of liquidations. And again, as we really think about liquidity, like, this is the biggest problem that I have when it comes to leverage trading is most people don't understand how liquidity works in the space. That's why you start to see a lot of the meme coins taken over and everyone wanting to go degenerative gam uh, gambling mode and just throw their money to the wind on every single meme coin that pops up. But also you have a lot of people playing with high leverage um, positions because they think, oh, well, I saw this influencer posting this, you know, $100,000 gain off of $200. 99% of the time, every single one of those screenshots are fake and people will just throw their money into leveraged trades and get liquidated. Liquidations happen time and time and time again. Please understand that leverage trading should only be for markets that are not as volatile as crypto or if you are experienced within trading. I always say stay away from leverage trading if you can at all costs. But regardless of all of this, right? High leverage longs have been cleared. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that the bottom is in or anything like that. Like I said, I do think that we could probably slide a little bit more um, if we are going to have that 20 plus percent pullback, just like we've seen um, in previous uh, cycles that leading into the halving, then Bitcoin is going to probably the mid to low region of $50,000. Now, is it a high possibility of us doing that? It's questionable, but we have Bitcoin will likely visit those longs this week. Picture one, all leverage. Picture two, short term high leverage. Do you think we'll liquidate them all by Friday? This was March 31st, and here we have all of those positions right around roughly the $67,000 region. And guess what? It seems as though we got them cleared, but is this the bottom? Nobody is going to give you a 100% answer because nobody actually knows. Like I said, I do think that we could slide a little bit more, but we are getting very close to the having uh, roughly 17 days away. Again, it could happen sooner. Um, this is just the tracking that is uh, tracked by their countdown clock, but roughly 17 days away from the having. And if that is the case, then we could probably slide a little bit more into uh, the having, which would essentially be chopping. And if we do chop, all coins will be on the chopping block. But 
Beyond this, everyone is forgetting one thing, which is it's election year. Check out the two charts below. Maybe it will put things into perspective on where we are at currently, zero doubt and zero emotions. Now, these are the two charts here. So the first one is actually election years are a leading indicator of Bitcoin bull runs by Masari. And this goes back prior to the 2021 um, cycle. But this is when Obama got elected back in the uh, 2012 uh, time frame into 2013. And we could see the returns here it was a plus 10,324% move on Bitcoin. And then, of course, when Trump got elected around 2016, um, going into the 2017-2018 bull run, and this was a 2,586% uh, run up. And again, this is right after elections. This is also an election cycle. This is from Grayscale. And we have the election year of 2012, 2016, 2020. And then this is uh, 2023. This is when Bitcoin was at 29K. Obviously, things have changed since then. But again, it is still right around election year now where we really look at the past and uh, we look at those previous cycles. And if we go back to 2020, again, you can clearly see what happened back then. Um, are we expecting the same exact thing? Not necessarily, but I do think that we could move pretty heavy to the upside. And remember, Typically, we do pump after election year. So 2025, it could look like a great year, but we could also just pump into the elections and then top out at the end of the year or even uh, quarter one of 2025. Re regardless of when we top, the big thing to take from this is the fact that if we follow the previous cycles of the election years, then we are about to have a major run up in the markets. And even when we zoom out on Bitcoin, right, we could clearly see that we are still in the upward move. Even if we come back down to 61.5K, we are still looking pretty good. Everyone is going crazy within this market right now all over X. I mean, the fear is definitely there. Um, I don't even know what the fear and greed index is right now. So, yeah, I mean, we're still kind of in greed but uh, it is rough. It's looking rough out there. And this is exactly what crypto is all about. Emotions are being fed on. Now, with all of that in mind, I do want to talk about a few things when it comes to also XRP. So as we look at a few things happening around the XRP space, a lot of people are still looking at XRP and saying, oh, well, XRP is done. It's not doing anything. Again, I've been mentioning this like a broken record uh, because we recently just talked a little bit about it, right? Um, I addressed it in ye yesterday's video um, about XRP going to 10 to possibly even $20 because, again, Credible Crypto is talking about a $20 XRP, essentially, if we're you know looking in the scope of a $10,000 Ethereum. And um, everyone was saying that, oh, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Now, today... Right now, currently at the time that I'm recording this video, you know, price action is going to change by then. Um, that's why I'm not really fully focused on charts or anything in this video. Um, but XRP is trading sub 60 cents. It's at 58 and a half cents. Um, again, this is probably going to continue to slide a little bit. Um, the big thing to f uh, fully focus on is that this is a short term pullback within the entire market. Everyone is saying that all coins are topped out. Guys, all coins barely moved this entire year. I mean, if we actually look at the um, gainers and losers in just the last uh, 30 days in terms of the top 100, there's been some moves made in the last 30 days in terms of the top 100. But for the most part, I mean, this is what the market looks like in the last 30 days. There's not a massive amount of gains happening. I mean, most of the gains that you are seeing in terms of like the, the top gainers and losers in the entire market is all coming from low liquid trash coins. And it really kind of reminds me of times in the past where this was a lagging factor of a major pullback incoming. And that's where we're, we're kind of at right now, where we are having a major pullback. Everyone is still looking at, you know, legitimate projects like HBAR, QNT, XRP, XLM, XDC. And they're like, well, it's not moving, so it has to be garbage. I'm telling you guys, when we really look at some of the moves being made in this market, m most of them are coins that haven't been even in the top 100. And most of the coins in the top 100, like I said, are not doing anything special. And some of these just recently started to pump into the top 100. But if we look at the last 30 days, 
the gains in the top 100 are not that significant for a lot of altcoins. Altcoins have barely moved. I mean, look at ADA, for example, right? Here's um, a coin that everyone knows about. Everyone knows how it performs. This is the chart for ADA. And I'll even go off of the, you know, just all-time chart itself. This is what ADA looks like. Has ADA done anything special yet? Not really. I mean, from the lows of roughly like 25, 26 cents, it's at about 60 cents. It doubled in value. Remember, even when we look at XRP, if we look at the all-time chart on this thing, guys, off of the low of roughly 30, almost two cents, it already hit roughly 80 cents. It did the same exact gains as ADA. Again, this is the top 100 coins. Everyone is thinking that we fully topped out, but alt season hasn't even happened. Alt coins have barely moved. So when we think about this, right? Are we topped out or are we just beginning this next major cycle? In my opinion, I do think that we are just beginning this next major cycle. But everyone, this is what this market is about. We are having a major shakeout and it's all fully focused on leveraged longs and really targeting um, highly leveraged positions. This happens every single time. And I want to just warn you guys ahead of time that we will see major moves like this to the downside. This isn't even that significant. Honestly, like I barely noticed this pullback today um, until I got a text message actually from um, an IRL friend saying, hey, are you okay? It's like, is crypto done? Like I just was surprised by it because we barely moved. I mean, the last seven days, Bitcoin's down about 7.45%. In the last one month, it is still up about 6.16%. In the last year, it's still up 100 and almost 32%. Like, this is nothing compared to some pullbacks that we saw leading into the all-time high back in uh, 2020 into 2021. I mean, look at some of these pullbacks along the way. Here's just the beginning of the bull run where Bitcoin hit about $37,000. It pulled back down to 30.8K. And the summer of 2021 was probably one of the worst pullbacks for most people to experience because we went from 60.7K down to about roughly 30.8K. But even leading into those major moves, we had March of 2020, which a lot of people thought that crypto was dead. It's done. It's finished. We will have those moves over and over again because what it does is it shakes the tree and it makes sure that there is some falling out because not everyone will win. And that's just the truth of it. But as we really look at XRP or any altcoin for that matter, why aren't altcoins moving significantly? Well, it's because of Bitcoin dominance. I've been mentioning this heavily in the last couple of videos, even when it comes to XRP. Big shout out to Crypto Insight UK. As we really look at this uh, chart for XRP and Bitcoin, he has, I have recently been mocked for my thoughts on XRP versus Bitcoin. And hey, so have I. Pretty much every XRP, um, you know, content creator or anyone that really kind of creates content around XRP. Again, I create daily content on XRP. We've been feeling the wrath of the comments because everyone is upset. Everyone is dis disappointed. And, you know, all of that is just fuel for the fire, really. And when it comes to XRP and Bitcoin, when it comes to any altcoin as well, you need to focus on the Bitcoin pair. However, so far throughout this whole flush down in crypto, XRP versus Bitcoin holds strong. And yes, it does. Failing to set a new low and ranging for 37 days, all while XRP FUD hits a maximum. I've been looking for a higher low and would suggest that we are basing here. Could we wick into the launch pad maybe? However, some bullish PA and our weekly RSI turns bullish. I expect when Bitcoin comes back firing, it'll be time to shine for XRP. And I also agree um, on this next wave, right? The number one thing to take away from this pullback, no matter how deep we go on Bitcoin, right? We could still visit that mid to lower region on the $50,000 wave, which I'm not expecting. Again, I just want to reiterate, I'm not expecting it, but it is a possibility. Regardless, the next move to the upside is when the fun really begins, because because I do think that that's when we will start to see Bitcoin dominance weakening or weakening. Sorry. And that's where we start to see XRP and a lot of altcoins becoming extremely strong versus their Bitcoin pairs. And that's what, why we have these two um, areas on this chart that Crypto Insight UK is, is showing you guys, which is the same exact levels that I've been kind of talking about as well. 
The first one is a 50% gain, and then the next one is a 200 almost 20% gain. Again, we won't repeat the same exact percentage gains, but we will repeat very close to them, which means that XRP could essentially double in price on just that next big move alone. But regardless, this is just to get back to some of those high levels. We're expecting this chart to break out in a major way above an almost 2,000 plus day downtrend. And if that is the case, then you better prepare for XRP to take over this cycle. So with that being said, to summarize everything, yes, this is a pullback. Yes, it is normal. Yes, you'll be fine. All you have to do is make sure that you don't get shaken out before the actual big moves happen. Obviously, the number one lesson to learn from all of this is no matter how great your portfolio looks, and no matter how hard it is to take profits, you 100% should always be taking profits when they are there. You don't have to sell your entire bag, but taking 5% or 10% out, making sure that you are safeguarding some profits along the way to the upside, it's not a bad thing. Everyone will ridicule you for selling or taking profits, but they are the same ones that will bag hold all the way back down to the starting point or below it. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on because more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.